YouTube, it's your girl Ashley, 87. It's been a very long time. I've been very busy, but I'm back, and I'm gonna be back more often. And I have a special guest here. Say hello to my classmate. Hi. Hello. So what we are doing is this. No, no. We're making a custom wig mold. So if you're wondering how to make your wigs look like it's yours and it fits you, and you ain't got no hair hanging out, and you're not looking boxy, this is how. So. All you need to do is make sure you have some hold up. Make sure you have some permanent markers on deck. Um, three colors is great or the um, size black, red, and a fine tip black, some masking tape or duct tape, clear, some saran wrap clear or some shower cap, something clear that you can put on somebody's head. And basically, this is a mess up, but you know you get one of these in the end. And you'll cut it and fix it and make it look how it's supposed to look. You'll stick it on your wood block and you'll make it do what it do. So stick around and we're going to get started. So you're going to take your wrap or shower cap and you're going to start by applying that all over the head. And make sure you be a good client and help, and help hold everything down. And you want to cover from basically your forehead to the back of the nape, or a little lower than the back of the nape. Hey. Probably go a little lower, get a little bit of neck. Okay. Make sure you cover those ears. Get all this, all this, all this matters basically because you use your ears and your eyebrows as a marking point. So when you take the wig, um, the wig cap off and put it back on your client, you know exactly where to put it when you're um, fitting and, and providing a consultation and everything. So basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you go ahead and make sure everything is covered. It's good. All here is covered. Close that in. So now, what we're going to do is, you have the option to take a black permanent marker, start to draw in everything, or you can tape everything down and then once and then draw it. So we're going to we're gonna draw it in first because it's easier to see. You're going to make sure you're tracing your ears and your eyebrows. Is And what she's doing is right now she's drawing in a solid hard line just as a guideline. And I use three markers. I use a black um, marker for an outline. I use a red one for another outline. And then I use a little like a fine tip just to draw in like fine hairs. Oh, 
more solid, mm -hmm. that's where you'll take the red and just go over the solid, like a solid line, like here and maybe the back because that's where, yeah, because so basically you're going to do that right there. So let's say you were making like just a lace front wig mm -hmm. and not a full lace wig, you know where you would want to ventilate hair uh, more finely, everything's on um, in, in front. And the more guidelines you have, the better. Oh yeah, we gotta drop my eyebrows in too. Yeah, that's good. You said drop the eyebrows in too. Yeah. Yeah, you can always get through here. Really here, bounce back, bounce back. And know that it's even for the hair. Like, oh, I may still need to go here and do like this one for the hair because it's going to cut part of the hair. But if I part of the wave of the curl, it's going to be sticking out. So I got to trim it so that the hair has a shape. Okay. Now you'll take the thin marker. And you're pretty much gonna just go in like here, and then you know basically it's as if it's hair, and you're gonna do that pretty much around the head. You see, like this. Um, yeah, that's good, like that. Am I supposed to take it all the way back? Um, or that far? No, that's fine. Um, <laughs> maybe what we can do is we can keep them that small there, and then we'll take this bigger marker and we'll do some bigger ones since it is thicker here. Why am I all in the video? Oh well, you can do it all the time. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Did you do the back too? Okay. Hey, Mr. Moore. What you guys doing? Oh, Mr. Moore. We making a custom wig mode. Mr. Moore. Oh my gosh! And we filming it. Mr. Moore, I have a question. You guys are uh, hosting another, like a veterans event on the market. We are May 9th, and uh, that's a Wednesday, and May 11th, that's what uh, Friday. What time is it May 9th? May 9th starts about noon. And then? And then you come in, they get free services. Here? Yeah. Oh, good. I thought we were somewhere. And then May 11th, what time is it? Um, it just depends what time they get here. It can start as early as 10. And that's a Friday, so you guys need help? Oh, yeah. Come on in. Okay. 
I'll just let wanted you, to make sure. I'll let you come and get some hours for that. Okay. Cool. You know, just let Mr. Ellis know I said it's cool. Okay. That's. Mm-hmm. Cool. Let me see what else we can fill in. Maybe some little ones, like around this area. What are you doing? So we're basically making a wig mold, and it's when you want to make like a custom wig for people. So this is how you make the head mold. You'll um, take either the wrap or like like that. And then what you do is you'll take your um, lace or your mesh, and you'll put it down, and you'll basically mash it. That's obviously where we messed up, but you'll mash it to like the exact so the wig will basically look exa- exactly as if it's there here. So it'll look exactly we exactly yeah. if it's you, not whoever the manufacturer made it to fit everybody. So are, my, are you being filmed right now? We're gonna, no, we're gonna edit it. So we've been talking the whole time, and every, you know, so we're we're gonna end up editing it. I think some parts we'll keep it in, but right now we're not doing that. So for now we're just um. So let me see. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. Um, let me see. Maybe I think around here. You want to? Yeah. 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 Cause mine. Uh. You know, for me, I got this. Will this will be hanging out? Yeah. I think. Yeah. He was like, Okay, okay, so now we can start taping. Nice. I can talk to Kenny in a minute. This must be a new Instagram because I have oh. Where did that comment go? Let me go do this. So now we're going to go ahead and take the masking tape and we're going to just go ahead and take everything up to secure it in place. Uh oh. Does this look better now? Yeah. Yeah. Like the first thing I did again was Beyonce's sister music video. 
And I did a few things after that, and then I kind of did it because I was in school. And then when I was like 19, one of my friends needed, like, I guess it was like a, a model called out, and she was like, Well, you know, do you want to come? And I was like, Yeah, I'll come. So that's how I got started back up all over again. And, um, most of the stuff that I took interest in was like commercial print or beauty or commercials. And I got like a few lines and stuff, but I don't really, I really don't like that type of stuff. I really just do the commercial stuff or the beauty stuff because that stuff pays a lot of money and it's not long term. And then I started doing music videos because music videos are like a day or two. And you got paid a lot of money for them. Mm -hmm. Sit and look pretty. And then I danced in a few of them. That's how I ended up meeting like J. Cole because I uh, I was in like Wiz Khalifa's videos. I think two of them. And the video commissioner, um, like we kept in contact. We still keep in contact to this day. She was like, oh, I'm having this video. I don't need dancers because, you know, I was here. She was like, can you come in? I was like, yeah, I came in. So I danced and ended up being like one of his background dancers. And um, what was that? What was the name of that song? It was the one when he sampled Paula Abdul um, Workout. So it was that video. And then, I don't know, uh, I guess, like they just wanted to change the direction of what the video was. So they switched it to the park, which I don't know why it doesn't make sense. The first video made more sense. And then um, I danced in like a, an Elephant Man music video before a few of them so I was like oh I like it and I um after I had my son he was I put him in a few commercials he was in a Super Bowl commercial um he was gonna be a Gerber baby but he wouldn't eat the damn food um he was in like a static California commercial so like after I had him I was like well I'll go back to it but honestly um just because his dad be tripping so much I was like I need another hustle and that's pretty much where this came in mm -hmm. And since I was like already low-key doing makeup, my soul I'm gonna do everything else. And then most likely I'll be able to get on get on set because it's the same people who book you as talent, book you as mm -hmm, and that's what I wanna do. I wanna go back and forth. And then even not that, my job, like the auto show stuff. Mm -hmm. It's long days though, don't get me wrong, but I I had a lot of fun and I met a lot of people. And then um Oh shoot. Okay. We'll do a turnaround. <laughs> hey, hey. So now we're all done. So what you're gonna do is you wanna carefully lift the it's kinda tight, but carefully. Did you draw the eyebrows in? Oh. Oh. No, we gotta draw the eyebrows in. Put that back. Um, it's definitely long days, but I met a lot of people and had a lot of fun. You have to take over these eyebrows real quick, which sucks because it's hard to come off. Yeah, but you can see, you can see the eyebrows all day, can't you? Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna go how to learn how to do this other shit too, because I know how to get in where I fit in. And then even like my job, the auto show job, a lot of those clients are the same clients that shoot with they they have a car commercial because we're dealing with Chevy, we're dealing with Toyota. Alright, now we do the Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna. Yeah, I'll take one. Oh yeah, you're gonna take one. Okay, let's take this off. You want to do an intro with this wig model, my dear? We should, huh? Yeah. So, we're all completed with our custom mode. I'm going to go ahead and take this off, um, fix it, and make it look like it's supposed to look like. So, once again, thank you very much for tuning in. And my special guest. Hey, we're gonna tag my YouTube name down in the uh, description box. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe. Because I know y'all watching. Because I got a lot of views. I'm trying to subscribe. And I got some stuff to show y'all. Bye. Bye, bitch. Okay, so we went ahead, we took this off. And this is our finished quick mode. Caroline and all. 
So basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you keep this because you're going to use it over and over again. You're going to save this for your clients and this definitely costs when they come in for a consultation or um, when they want to book you for the service. So you want to make sure you have some polyfill on deck to fill the inside when you put this on your wig block. Some really good hair and some really good tools and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I probably might go ahead and stick some tape on the inside of here just to make it, um, just to reinforce it a little more.